Hey, in this video, let, I will show you how I use Obsidian and then the Alfred app to instantly capture information that I use for my digital personal knowledge management system. And the, the mindset that I have here when, when I'm trying to um, do this is to be more productive. So what for me, productivity is basically uh, useful output over time multiplied by the fun. And fun for me means the flow state being doing something that's not too frustrating that's not too hard that becomes frustrating and it's not too easy that becomes boring so imagine the last time you played a game and you didn't notice that time you've been playing a game um, that is when you're having fun you're in the flow state it's not too hard and it's not too easy um, how do i get to that uh, flow state and how do I not be interrupted from my slow, slow state and instantly go back to my flow state when I need to do my work? So for instance, we're in a meeting. You and I are talking, I'm taking, I'm listening to everyone and you say something, you say something about design thinking and I didn't know about design thinking. How do I instantly capture that idea? I'll show you how. And then I'll show you also how I can instantly capture the contents of a web page using the Obsidian and Utilities app, Alfred Utilities app. And here is uh, the actual um, link to the forum discussing this Alfred Obsidian Utilities app. And the actual file, the utilities files here, it is a bit difficult to configure. You need to understand where the variables are uh, but once you get how it's done, um, it's, it's, it's relatively easy to, to work on. So for instance, uh, once you download this and you install it in your in your um, in your in your uh, Alfred utilities, you basically go to Alfred. So I go to Alfred in the preferences. Um, this is the actual utilities app, and you need to be aware, you need to fix this X of the upper right corner and fix this uh, this actual where the value path is. This is very important. You should be able to edit this um, so that it goes directly to your vault in your Obsidian uh, file system. So it should link to your Obsidian vault. Okay. Once you've set this up, it would be easy to we use these keywords, B, uh, DJ, DN, and NN. And then the other one is clip. Actually, there's a couple of keywords. So let's go back to our scenario. Say, say you talk to me about um, design thinking. And we're in a meeting, we're discussing something, and someone mentioned design thinking. And I, I don't know what design thinking is. And I instantly put my notes, DJ. Um, someone just mentioned design thinking. What the, heck, what the heck is that? For instance, we're in a meeting. I, someone mentioned it, and I don't want my flow to be disrupted too much. I instantly capture, put it in my digital second brain in the Obsidian then go back to the discussion. So this is what I do, add journal entry. And this automatically goes to this link to my daily notes page. So I just captured 721. I just captured this discussion on design thinking. And I say, what the heck is that? So if someone had talked about design thinking, I can just put it there. The, the cool thing about doing this this quickly is it gets you out of your flow state. Uh, it doesn't get you out too much of the meeting where you are, whatever you're doing right now. So this applies to a lot of things, uh, the, a lot of scenarios. Uh, I'm currently do, reading something or watching a video on YouTube on art. Art is uh, art in culture. And I can instantly tap What does art in culture mean? For instance, 
and it instantly shows up there. Now I can add some more notes there. New link note or add to daily note. So add to daily note uh, to continue my thought. Art in culture. Sure is different in Asia and Europe. The distinctions include, and then it adds there, see? Now, that's how I use the daily journals and uh, adding on to the daily journals. This is an example of how I use this. For instance, now, uh, and demonstrating how I capture notes in Obsidian using the Alfred. Now, it's also good. It is also great for interstitial journaling, whatever you're doing right now. So when you come back at the, the end of the day, oh, this is what I've been doing uh, for the for the entire day. That's one way of doing it. Now, and this is the tool, uh, Obsidian Utilities. You see the, the web page here. That's how it's set up. Now, for instance, there's a, it also has another tool called Clip. For instance, I am this in this page, this web page, and I, I like this content. I would like to refer to this later on. But it has another command called Clip. And what Clip does is it captures the text inside this particular page and saves it into Obsidian and also creates a link on the daily note. So let me demonstrate it now. So I just clipped it and now let me go to my Obsidian and it's there. It creates a link and this is a page within Obsidian itself. Click on it, it copied the content of that page. So this is good for me to Reference and look back later. Now, for instance, somebody just mentioned design thinking. And uh, in my daily notes, um, I said, mm, someone just mentioned design thinking. Now I can do, do, I can actually search something on YouTube. What is design thinking? Wiki, Wikipedia. Me, Search for design thinking with Wikipedia. I can do the same thing. Oh, design thinking, clip. Design thinking. And I go back to my Obsidian, design thinking Wikipedia, okay? So it's there, design thinking Wikipedia. And I can go back to my daily notes and link uh, design thinking. What the heck is this? this? And I can make design thinking Wikipedia. Design thinking. 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 Thinking Wikipedia. And it would link to that other, this particular note. And I just completed my thought. And the cool thing is when I do this, I also add the inbox tag, meaning it's in my brain that I need to process. I, it's somewhere mm -hmm. there. I need to just fix it up. So these are all my inbox inboxes um, that I started to collect. So these things are in my inbox. These things are in my inbox that I need to now process and edit and learn more about and put into my own words paraphrase for my to create what's called um, to add to my permanent notes or evergreen notes or zettel casting system that's another topic for another day but um, this is a quick demonstration of how i use obsidian with the alfred app i hope this helps i'm ellie i am a customer experience head in one of the largest conglomerates in the Philippines and also the founder of a UX design community nonprofit and has around 5,000 members. Bye-bye now.